What's up guys, it's Creative Ryan and I'm here today to show you the best export settings for music videos. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015 and you're gonna open up a project. Cool, 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 cool. All right, boom, Jelly maintain. Let's open this one up. All right, cool guys, so look. You can also set up presets too. Once you have your settings for your uh, for your export, you can set up set, uh, presets so that every time you go back, you can just use that instead of having to uh, dial in on all the settings. So basically, boom. Okay, let's just say for instance, this music video is done. It's all what, what I would usually do. I'm not sure if this matters if you need to render everything out, but I always do it anyway, just so that I'm 100% sure the quality is there. I go to sequence, render into out. Render out would be from here where it starts to out where it's done so boom it's all green already so let's just say boom it's yellow I would just go to here render in the out I'd let this go all the way through boom I'm gonna cancel that so until it turns green and then boom you're ready so what you're gonna do when you're ready to export you're gonna go to file export media now this is my uh, export settings, this is what I do every time I export and I've always had great quality, people love the quality that I do so I'd imagine this is the best way for you to do it. So I always use H2, H264, uh, um, let's see, I come down, I go for the YouTube 1080p just to get my settings right. Well, I don't touch none of this, none of this. Okay, basic video settings. So you want to do 1920 by 1080, of course. Uh, you can uncheck these to change them or check them to keep them solid and so they don't change. But boom, right here, I want to go to uh, 23.976. Uh, progressive, I want to keep progressive. I want to keep square pixels. Um, profile, high, of course. Uh, level, I want to bump that all the way up to 5.2. Now, this is going to change your settings again here. You just come back 1920, 1080, bring this back to 23.976. Okay, cool. Now you got your everything set. Now you want to definitely come here and click render at maximum depth. You want to render at maximum depth. Uh, VBR, one pass, you can do one pass. I usually bump this in between, anywhere in between 15 to 40. So I'm going to just say 20. 20 for both your bit rates I want I want to go with at least 20 um, I'll come here click uh, use maximum render quality click use previews and boom that's it that's all you got to do and make sure this is at scale to fit for that and then boom everything's done so what you can do now is you can come here save preset I usually save mine as uh, 1080p preset I already got mine saved, so you, what you would do is just hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I already got mine saved. Um, so, see they pop up right here. I got 4K preset, 1080 preset, and an IG preset, which I'll go over an IG exporting um, tutorial soon as well. So, boom. Then you can just, every time you come in here and you got your music video done, you just click that. Boom, everything's set. Then right here is your output name. You click that. You can change it. Um, final music video. You can set your destination. Boom, I want to take it to my desktop. Save. Now you're all ready. You just come, boom, hit export. And that's that, man. I hope you liked it. Share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like that. I'll see you guys next time.